Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf. And the headline today is how to swing the golf club correctly. Now, if you swing a golf club and hit a ball and 98 out of 100 shots go where you want them to go and fly the way you want them to fly, you do not need this video. If you are in the 99th percentile that this does not happen where some balls go left, some balls go right, some go four yards, some go 400 yards, this you need to pay attention to. Okay, so here we go. What is it to swing a golf club? Now, I come from a baseball background where a baseball swing was rotational. You have this kind of grip where one palm is down and one palm is up and you hit the ball and rotate through. That's what I grew up doing. Now I come to this game and everybody said, oh, it's all the same, it's all the same. Well, I got up here and I would take a rotational swing and one palm up and one palm down and that ball went 700 yards right every single time until I figured out this is not the same. It's not even close to the same. It's not even the same ballpark, no pun intended. The golf swing is completely different and people tell you it's the same. To me, it's 100% different. Now, here's a little mindset that I can put into you or a swing thought, if you will. I envision the golf swing not as a hit, as a swing. Okay, great. What does that mean? Well, I don't hit the ball. I swing the club. I swing the club and it just so happens to hit the ball. All right, fine. Now let's get further into that. What does that mean? Well, it's not a hitting motion. And until I realized that, it was doing me a disservice because I was hitting. It's a throwing motion. You hear Ben Hogan talk about throwing a ball through here. And yeah, that's probably pretty, pretty close. But it's not until I realized that it was more like throwing a basketball or a bowling ball or a heavy, heavy object where you take it this way. And if I was going to throw a bowling ball into that lake, well, I wouldn't do this, which is the rotational of a baseball swing. I definitely would not take a ball up here and go, I would take the ball and I would hold it like this, not this. Do you see that movement? If I had a ball, I wouldn't turn it here because first of all, it's heavy. I wouldn't turn it here to turn it back that way, right? I would hold it. See this? I'm holding the ball. And from here, I wouldn't turn this way. I would slide and throw. Let's do it from this way. I'm holding the ball. I take it back. Now, some of you that watch my videos regularly know that I say wave to the camera. Well, watch this. I'm holding this big, heavy object. I turn and guess what? There it is. You see that? I'm holding this big imaginary ball right here, but I'm also waving to the camera. Now from here, I sure would not rotate this way. This is the major killer move that a lot of people do. They rotate this way and then they rip it left and then it slices back. Imagine that you have a ball right here. Here it is. I turn back. From here, I have to start this way and then throw. Here, start, throw. It's not a rotational. This is rotational. This is rotating and you do not do this in the golf swing. Everybody's trying to rotate, rot, no. Here, push, throw. This is the rotation. Here, not here. So I go back, I'm holding this ball, and then I throw it. I don't throw it, I throw it. Here. It makes sense. If you had a heavy ball, you would just throw it. So I'm going to test this for you because I'm a big believer that I can give you all these tips, but if I don't show you that they work, well, what's the point? So that's what I do on this channel. 
I give you a tip, then I play it, and I show you that it works. So let's go. This is a par four. Who cares, actually? Who cares about the score? We are here today to work on the swing so that you can get better no matter if it's par four, par five, par 5,000. It doesn't matter. It's about hitting the ball correctly. If you have a golf swing, I'll say it again. If you have a golf swing where your ball goes where you want it to go, don't worry about this. Do it your way. This is for people that are just like, I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do in the golf swing, which was guess who? For a long time. I didn't have this concept of throwing. Throwing, okay? So here we go. I have a heavy ball in my hand. I'm going to turn back. I'm going to laterally push, and then I'm gonna throw it down the field. Here we go. Ball stays low. It goes dead straight down the fairway. Let's go do it again. Now remember, this is something that I've worked at trying to figure out what the concept is. I'm a big concept guy. I'm not a big hinge and left weight, elbow, right, like, that's too much for me. I need an overall concept. What is the golf swing like? So then I can get to the ball and go, oh, I'm throwing a heavy bowling ball. That to me is easy. I can repeat that over and over, but if there's 75 things that you need to do, your left knee needs to rotate to this angle and my head needs to be here and I have to do this and then shift my weight, it's too much. But if I can put myself in the mentality that I'm throwing a heavy object, preferably a heavy bowling ball or a heavy basketball, down the field i can remember that every single time and that makes it repeatable which is the most important part of this game a concept that you can repeat over and over and over here's my ball middle of the fairway i have 150 yards to a middle pin i'm not hitting driver i didn't do anything wild i took a three iron and hit it 180 yards and now i have 150 yards i'm going to hit a Nine iron, 150 yards. I'm gonna play it to the front of the green. I'm gonna be safe, no big deal. Now, this is the same thing, same exact principle. This is why this is so important. Now, I, okay, I hit a good shot off, shot off the tee. Now I have to remember the same thing again where I sway or keep my weight back and then hinge my elbow and then shallow the club and then turn. I, I, I can't remember all of these steps. Your brain can process one idea at a time. It's a great computer up here, but it can only process one thing. I can't think about four things on the way back. So what do I think about? I think about taking this back like I have a heavy ball in my hand. And from here, lateral push and throw the ball. Look at it this way. I have a heavy ball. Boom. Huh. Hoom. Ha hoom. <laughs> I go back. I'm holding the ball. This is the most important part. If you had a heavy ball, you would never turn your hands this way, ever. It doesn't make sense. What do you do with a heavy ball from here? Oh, no. Boom, boom, boom. I have a heavy ball. I go forward. Then from here, I throw it. That's it. Let's try it again. Nine iron. Ball's back in my stance. This is what the swing looks like. Heavy ball in my hand. That's it. Let's try it. Nine iron. Oh my God. I hope I can zoom in to see that. Everybody wants a shot tracer. Listen guys, I spent a lot of time learning this golf swing now I'm going to start learning how to like do shot tracers and stuff, but bear with me for a little bit. I had to learn this part first before I got into the shot tracing. And I know shot tracers help you visually, but I don't want to make anybody upset. 
I think a lot of these shot tracers are fake. I don't know. You can't see the ball where it goes. You just see this line flying through the air. Who knows how accurate the shot tracer is? I like to zoom in so you can see where the ball lands because guess what? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Where does the ball go? I don't care where I drew the line. Anybody can draw a line that goes anywhere. Anyway, off my rant. I'm going to show you where the ball goes and hopefully that zoom in worked. Let's take a look here. There's a little bit of shadow, but guess what I'm getting? My putter. And by the way, this is going to be the new Tropicana putter. How sweet is this thing? It's beautiful. That's what I learned to putt with. And now I'm back to it. Um, okay, so here is, here's the ball. I'm on the green. That was great. It was beautiful. I did nothing but throw a heavy ball. There's the ball. Let's see where it landed. Guess what? Right there. It's a great shot. Beautiful. It almost went in the hole. Like if it just goes a little bit. You want to learn how to do this again? Take a tee, push in, push in, push in, push in, push in, push in. Now, I stand back and I tap it with my putter. My new Tropicana putter. Okay. There's the ball. There's the hole. Let's get this out of the way and tidy it up a little bit. Put it right back on top. Plaster it in there. All right. Let's get to putting now. Because remember, golf is more than just a swing. You have to do stuff like this, which is called putting, which is where a lot of people suffer. And I said yesterday that the difference between good golf and great golf is good putting. Now, there's aggressive putting and there's real putting. My chances of making this putt are 40%. I'm not gonna go super aggressive with it. I'm just going to hit it in a shadow I'm going to pick a big spot right here, right there. That's the hole now, this giant hole. And I just have to hit it in that giant hole. I'm no longer micro analyzing this. Okay. We're playing for par here. Okay. So all I have to do is just hit it in this giant hole. Well, that's easy. I just go like this, never look up and just hit it to this giant hole. Easy. There it is in the giant hole. And guess what? It almost goes in. And one per round, two per round, you'll go. But if you can do this every single time, tap in for par, your life is going to be completely different. You're going to walk out of there going, hey, golf is not that hard. Let's play another hole. The importance of these videos are not only for me to remember what I'm doing when I'm playing well, but also for you so that you understand that golf can be played a million different ways. I had a tap in par there. Now, I didn't hit driver. It was a 370 yard hole, which is okay, maybe on the short end for some courses, but I hit a three iron, a nine iron, and two putts. It's possible. Things are possible. I hit, a, I hit a nine iron 150. That I did do. And I know a lot of people can't do that. Um, but hit whatever you can hit 150 with this swing thought and you'll be all right. Now, these tee boxes are way back here and they're under construction. You see they're overseeding. So we're going to put the camera back here. The par four, super long, like super, super, super long. This is probably close to 400 yards today. I think it plays 370 from up there plus the pins probably in the back. So we're probably talking 395, but guess what? Three iron, and you see that? Three iron, am I hitting driver automatically? No, you know why? Because a par is a great score and a bogey I'll live with. It's okay, as long as I don't hit double bogey. Now, how do you, have, how do you make double bogey or triple bogey? You take a driver and you roast it out of bounds or you hit it onto the street over there with a big slice. I don't have to do any of that. Why? Because I have a three iron and I know it can't go crazy. It can't. It, it just doesn't have the power to do anything crazy. So I'm playing smart. Now, here we go again. I have a heavy ball in my hand. I turn back and then I 
throw the ball. You see this move right here? That's it. Everybody goes, that's the killer. Ready to see it from this side? No good, good. No good, good. No good, good. And all I'm doing is throwing a ball. That's it. I get here, huh, huh. Throw the ball down the field. Easy. Right down the middle. That one you're not gonna be able to see because there's shadows, maybe. Nah, probably not. It, it landed in the shadow. I hit that so soft, so soft. That thing went 170 yards for a three iron. It's not good, but it's not bad. I'm not gonna break any long distance world records today or ever, but that's okay. If I have a chance to putt for par on 16 out of 18 holes, I'm gonna play good golf. And, and that's what we all wanna do. We don't wanna be in these things up here. You've seen people climbing up there looking for their ball, or look at this. There's a huge slope down here. Check this out. You hit the ball down here, say goodbye to par, like bye, it's gone. You have to hit it through this tree line and she gone. Now, did I smother that thing? Not even close. I hit it 175 yards. I still have 210 yards to the pin. You see it up there? Okay, can I hit it all the way there? Yeah, once, once out of 10 times, I could take my three wood and roast it. And yeah, it might get on there once, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Three iron, again, you saw it on the tee. And if I'm 30 yards, 20 yards short of the green, I'll chip it up and have a chance at par. So here we go, one more time. We go back with a heavy ball. Huh? And go. Look at it one more time from here. Heavy ball in my hand. Boom. Boom. This little lateral move is your key. It's like you're dancing. Little Elvis Presley. Boom. Boom. And now you rotate through. Okay? So how far is this going to go? 160. I'm 200 and... 20 yards out. There's no chance. So I'm not going to swing out of my shoes. I'm not going to get it there. I already know that. But I know that if I do this and this and this, I'm going to hit it 180 and have a chance to get on in three and putt for par. Ready? Perfect. It goes up there. It's just in the shadow. Let me feel that. I'm even short of that. I'm like, I think I'm like 40 yards short of the green, but that's okay. Cause guess what? My competitor or whoever I'm playing against in the tournament hitting driver off the tee and three of them out of seven, unless you're a professional golfer. And if you're a professional golfer, you probably are not watching YouTube tips bottom line. But if you're a mid nineties, low hundreds guy, your competitors and the people that you're playing against are hitting driver here. Look back there. See that over there and that back there? All this, that's all out of bounds. And guess what? Now you're hitting three off the tee. I've hit my second shot. My third shot's gonna go on the green. Their third shot was going off the tee. Smarter, not harder. Here's my ball in the shadow. There's the pin, see it? I have 50 yards, okay. Remember, my whole goal was to what? Have a chance to putt for par. I take a 69 degree wedge. You take whatever you hit 40 yards. I do this because I am comfortable with it and I've practiced with it and I like it, okay? Whatever you're mentally good with, done. What do you do? Same thing, heavy ball through. Now, you're not swinging full speed because it's only 50 yards. So get right here, play the ball back in your stance, Boom, boom, okay? You're not, you're not laterally shifting as much because it's not that far. 
So it looks something like this. You still have a little bit of a push, but it's not crazy. And it's never a slide, guys. You're never sliding through the ball. It's just heavy ball, boom, you break this way, and then you turn. Here we go. Anywhere on the green, have a chance to putt for par. Ready? Here we go. Short and weak, fine. But I'm putting, I'm putting for par. And if I make bogey, great, awesome. I didn't hit any balls out of bounds. I gave myself a chance. Let me fill this. I gave myself a chance. And to be honest, this is the number one handicap. And if I can walk out of the number end handicap with a five today, I'll take advantage of some of the easier holes. It's one at a time. This is not gonna make or break your round on one hole. Now, if I could hit driver consistently and perfectly every single time, hey, do that. But if you can't play for a score, that's gonna allow you to do something. Look, there's my ball, okay? I am far, real far. I have 25 yards to the hole. That's a long way. You know how many times I'll make this putt? Once, one time out of a thousand. So I already know I am playing for bogey. Now, how do you play for bogey? Make the circle around the hole. Pretend there's a jacuzzi in here and everybody's hanging out in the jacuzzi and all you want to do is hit it in the jacuzzi. I don't even see that hole at all. I see a big jacuzzi. I found out which way the ball is going to break and hit it in the jacuzzi. It makes life a whole hell of a lot easier than aiming for that little hole. Okay. I see this sliding this way. There's a mountain over there. Who knows? Just hit it in the jacuzzi. How do I get it in the jacuzzi? I think, what would I take to throw this ball over there? Just like this. I would just throw it over there. Okay. Big jacuzzi. I'm not even looking at the hole. There's a big, huge, giant jacuzzi. Just hit it over there. Get in the jacuzzi. Get in the jacuzzi. It's in the jacuzzi, guys. Look at that. It's in the jacuzzi. Now, these you have to be good at. You can't miss these. These are important. This is half a putter length. Inside the leather, something like that. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, you can see that. Okay. These are the trickiest putts in golf. You're nervous. You got to breathe and you got to go. It's one and a half feet, pal. <laughs> Just hit the ball. Get to the back of the ball. Look down at the ball. Okay. Look down at the ball and follow the ball into the hole. But don't pull your head up and look. Follow it with the putter head. Follow it with the putter head all the way into the hole. I get to the back of the ball. I keep my head down and follow it with the putter head. Never looked up. Listen for the sound. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you. I just want you to remember there's no correct way to swing a golf club. Don't buy into that. If your ball does what it's supposed to do or what you want it to do, keep doing that. If it's not, try this out. I hope it helps. See you next time.